Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. All right. Welcome to this tutorial, everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in animations to your UI. And that is, of course, user interface. So I have a basic uh, project open, third person here. Uh, and let's go ahead and let's add in a user interface. So let's go ahead and let's do that. We're going to call this the heads of display. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, make a simple animation and then we're going to do something a little bit more with it. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to drag this out here. I'm going to maybe change the size up and I'm going to size it to content. Okay. So that may be a bit too big. Uh, so let's just kind of move that down here. Also, let's make sure every uh, the justification is center, and we'll just kind of move that into the center here, okay? Um, and we can add something in there later. So let's talk about how to add the animation, and then let's do something a little bit creative with it. Okay, so first things first, once you have this selected, you should probably name it, so we can call this, um, you know, main text, all right? And then we're going to go ahead and add in a new animation. We'll call this fade in, okay? Or, yeah, we can call it fade in might get a little bit trickier later but essentially this is what's going to happen we are going to fade this in and in order to do that we need to add in a track okay and in this track we're going to add in some keyframes so what do we need to do now if you click this track button you can see that there's a bunch of different options here um, and the one that we're looking for today uh, is simply the color and opacity okay and you can see that the opacity you have your rgb colors and if you change these you know you can change the color here now you can also animate them which is what we're going to do right now so make sure that is 1.0 and here we go so let's go ahead and let's make this a 1.25 second animation okay so first things first it's going the alpha is going to be zero because that means it's completely transparent we're going to move this right over and then we're going to put in one Okay, make sure that this looks fairly similar to what you're doing if you do not see what's happened here. So as you can see, we have, there we go. Okay, so that's the first step of the, the problem. Let's go ahead, let's go into our third person game mode here. Let's right click, let's add in an event begin play. Okay, and in this event begin play, we need to set up this UI. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to create a widget. And that widget, of course, is going to be the heads of display. Nothing too complicated there. And we're going to add to viewport. All right, there we go. Okay, so if we run this here, well, it works. But hey, the animation didn't play. Well, because we didn't tell it to play the animation. So let's hop back to our heads of display, click on the graph here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything but the construct here. Um, and if, if, by the way, if you type in event begin play it says event construct which is essentially the begin play here so all we're going to do is we're going to play the animation okay we're going to play the animation and look at this we have our animation here let's drop that into the animation here and you can see that there's a bunch of different options here you can loop it you can play it and you can do the playback speed there's a whole bunch of different things you can do you can add in variables etc so let's go ahead and let's play that here and voila look at that now that's basically how you add in animations all right so let's go ahead let's add in a couple more things just to make this a little bit more fun um, let's change the text block here uh, let's change it to um, important message soon okay now this is this is going to be real um, I'm going to show you that this is going to be quite uh, interesting to um, to do right so in, important message soon okay let's make sure that's well you know up there here okay and let's go back in here uh, or to the graph here and let's add in a delay okay and we're going to delay this for four seconds okay so we're going to play the animation 
and then we're going to delay it and then we're going to play animation again and we're going to drag the uh, fade in here now watch what happens if we do this okay so we got important message soon and then it just does it over again well that's not exactly what we want to do what happens if you want to fade out well there's two ways you could do it you can make a fade out or you can simply reverse right now if you're making a more complex game um, you might want to add in um, you know a fade in and a fade out if you want to do them a little bit differently but this is a lot easier and if you're just starting out I would recommend doing things like this and polishing the UI is not really indicative of um, of making your game better it, it just adds to the overall finesse so don't waste too much time if this is your first game just make it look good enough so important mesh is soon right and then it'll fade out okay now four seconds might be a bit too much let's make it 3.5 all right, and let's hop back into our designer here, and that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out another text here, make sure the justification is center, and I'm going to say <laughs> we have updated our privacy policy, okay? And <laughs> maybe let's make that a little bit bigger here. And we're basically going to do the same thing, size to content up here, and just kind of move that into the uh, middle, <laughs> right, just like that here. And um, you can see that the animation here, um, we have our fade in, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and let's hop back into, and actually let's change the opacity here. And that is somewhere, so if I type in opacity, let's change that to zero. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to hop back into the graph here. And we're going to, guess what, play animation, OK? Play animation. And the target here. Um, we c we could definitely um, so for example if we do the fade in here uh, let's hop back to our designer and if we look at this right let's make in another animation we can call it fade in and we already have it but we'll just make another animation fade in um, policy okay very simple stuff and um, what we want to do is you can see that there is main text and we're going to call this um, policy text okay so here we go just like that here and let's add that in we're going to do the exact same thing except we're going to um, fade this out oh no we are going to fade it in actually and so we're going to make this a bit quicker okay because if we're going to have a new animation Let's make it a bit quicker so something a little bit different now of course if you want to make this more complicated you can add in your own animations here but for now let's just deal with this here so play animation here and you can see that we got fade in policy and there you go okay and that's it um, so we should probably add in another delay we'll make that one second all right and then let's just see how this looks all right so we got important measures soon and then we have updated our privacy policy okay and then while we're at it let's go ahead and by the way if you just do um, control uh, W by the way you can just simply duplicate that here and then once it fades in control W it will we will just simply fade it right back out Okay, so let's take a look at this here. Port mesh soon. Yeah, that's a bit too much. Let's add in another delay here. Three seconds, and there we go. So let's run that one last time. And there we go. So we got important message. We have updated our privacy policy. 
And there we go. All right. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As of now, this channel is not monetized, so it would definitely help me out if you liked it and subscribed to our channel. Uh, it does help us out in the YouTube algorithm. And please share this, uh, especially on Reddit. Uh, that's the best place to we get a lot of traffic from Reddit, so please share it on Reddit. And if you really like this channel, you can buy our digital products down below. Uh, we have courses on, on the Unreal Engine, machine learning, and more. Uh, we don't do Patreon at this channel. We sell our digital products, and every dollar that we get goes right back into making more content. So if you enjoyed this free tutorial, uh, please help us out uh, by just buying our digital products down below. All right? Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.